Hello everyone and welcome back to another Infinite Galaxy video. Um, first thing, some of you might already have seen this video. Um, unfortunately there seems to be a copyright problem. So from now on I will always have the music turned off in the game. Um, yeah, so if you already saw the video, it's the same video, just with a short intro. And um, yeah. I hope you will enjoy the video, it's about the campaign and the different flagships. You will see some different options where I run through the campaign, the effect of the rank of a flagship in the campaign and the effect of um, the level of a flagship in the campaign. Hope you will enjoy it. Okay, so let's take a look. We will use the Prometheus now. As you can see, the Prometheus is still rank 1 for me. I did put level 8 um, rare nuclear missile launcher inside. Always remember to switch to the campaign stats if you want to see that. Um, I do have blue, so one purple missile, one blue missile, one purple kinetic and two blue kinetic. for this um, legendary flagship. We do use our purple HP module, we do use blue HP, then we do have the two armor HP modules here and for the legendary one additional green module because I don't have more blue or purple defensive modules. When we now go to our campaign 8.12 and um, you always have to click on change flagship. As you can see um, skill 1 is level 1. It does honestly zero damage. 38 damage in this level it doesn't really matter. Um, skill 2 guided missile but also keep in mind this is all level 1 and skill 2 um, the tactical nuke. If we take a look now at the um, equipment we have here. The purple missile is doing 552 damage with a 3 meter range. The blue one is doing 244 but it launches 8 projectiles. The purple kinetic is shooting really fast with 0 0.3 seconds, does nearly 300 damage. Um, the blue ones, they have 2 seconds cooldown but they launch all the time 5 projectiles. The modules they are more or less normal. There's nothing surprising. You get your stats, additional armor and HP as we would expect this 180,000 for the green one, um, 250 for the level 8 blue one and the level 6 gives another 180,000 here. So um, let's see how that works when we go into this last campaign. I will go directly with my frigates here on the lower range. I will do this for all the flagships we are going to test. I'm going to use the skills but I will not call any reinforcements so that we do have a very good idea of um, how this all will work out. And we can already see it takes some time to kill the frigates here, the enemy frigates. But um, at least they went down. The shield from the platforms is not really moving at all and now the first destroyers come in. And um, yeah, as you can see we do have some problems here. We can try to help our um, friends up there but you can already see not even um, the flagships arrived in the battle and our shield is already going down. We barely can do any damage to the platforms. Um, there's not much happening and the second wave comes in. We didn't manage to kill the first one. You saw the missile I shot inside there. Didn't really do anything. So all damage we do is coming from our weapon modules, our skills and our first um, yeah, our first skill, that's our main weapon and our skills, they don't do any real damage. So I will just fast forward from here till we are dead and then we can see what happened. 
Okay, so we, we completely got overrun here. This was now a legendary flagship with um, high level modules and um, rank 1 level 40. So let's try something different. Okay, so I just need to reset the Prometheus. You see I even spent my Corium for you here guys. And um, we already equipped the Nemesis. So let's get the Nemesis to level 42. Oh, okay, I got a little bit too high here. Um, yeah, anyhow, I will, I will leave it there. So the most important thing is um, this Nemesis is already rank 7. As you can see, we got level 3 on our first skill. So let's go to the campaign. 8, change the flagship. Um, there is our Nemesis. So if we now look at the first skill, remember before it was two digits, now we do 1446 damage with the first skill. And we do get also all the other skills, even if they are not active skills sometimes. So this is an active skill, um, reduces the cooldown of the flagship attack. Um, the second one um, shoots lasers at multiple enemies. And the other two skills, they are passive skills, increasing the attack of the flagship and reducing the cooldown time of the flagship's weapon. Um, you can only see this when you choose the flagship in the campaign, as you can't see it. I did equip it with the four weapons we had before, so we have one weapon module less and we do have one HP module less this time. And here we go, let's start and see how that goes. We will go again, we follow our frigates to the lower platforms and um, I will stop talking so that I can later just quick forward it. So okay, we even managed to do it in the time limit that was required. Okay, I fucked up the HP because I was a little bit too far in front. But we didn't use a single reinforcement ship. We didn't summon any cruisers or frigates or anything. So as you were able to see, there was a huge difference in damage with the same equipment lower level tier ship but having it ranked up okay so we use the same nemesis i just reset it um, same equipment everything same and let's have another look at the campaign and how this goes same thing again we got the nemesis here and we will start okay same drill, I will not use any reinforcements. I will go on the bottom side with the frigates again and um, we will see how it works out without having, having the flagship leveled up. Okay, so obviously this was not as good as before and the reason for this is um, pretty simple. If we take a look at our HP of our leveled up flagship, we were here at around 1 million and without the level we are at 700k. So we do get some or quite a lot of HP from the modules, but not as much and with a shield we had 100k 
and now we had nothing. So in total we are missing around 400k shield and HP, um, maybe even a little bit more because from time to time the shield really regenerates during the campaign. So um, we could say, yeah, maybe that's around 20% um, less survivability that we got there. Um, we don't know exactly how armor works, we can also not see it, but I can also tell you we also do have less armor. So overall, um, we are much easier to die. And I think that was also very well visible in the fight, especially at the beginning, when I lost a lot of HP and then had to retreat with the flagship. But the damage, I think, was still there. So um, let's take a look at other options. Okay, so last flagship I want to use in this case is one you probably did not expect to see here. It's a Peleus. So why this one? First, nobody is using it beside me, I think. Um, second, it's another one that I do have on rank 7, meaning we do have um, level 3 skill 1. It only is um, blue, so it's very easy to rank up. It still has 4 weapon slots, but only 3 defensive slots. The skills also in normal battle are pretty decent, because you get a total warship attack increase. You get planet development and you get resource gathering. These are things that are usually not too bad. Um, most of the time you can use them. And um, yeah, let's let's take a look how that works. Um, we go back here. So if we change our flagship, you will see... First you will get shocked and think, oh god, the attack is way too low. But if we compare it to the nemesis, nemesis we had before, 1446, but the cooldown was 2.8 seconds and it only launched one projectile. Now here we do have a cooldown of 1.6 seconds and we do launch 8 projectiles, so that will get very interesting. The other skills, um, the second skill, active skill, we can select a circular area where we damage and reduce the movement speed. So this is a little bit like with the missiles from the Hercules. We do have um, increasing the attack of all our warships. So this won't help us because I will not summon any warships. And now it's getting really strange, the last one. We increase the number of resources we earn from killing space pirates. I do have no idea what this skill has to do, do in campaign. I really have no idea. Um, if anyone from Camel is watching that video, please enlighten us. Why do you put um, increased resources from Space Pirates into the campaign skills? I, I'm curious to hear that. Um, I leveled it up to 40, so not even 42, this time I did it manual, to have really a level 40. And let's see how that works. Same as before, I will go to the lower one together with the frigates. I will only use the skills and I will not use or summon any reinforcements. Okay, so what can I say? Um, it was better than the rank 1 Prometheus, the legendary one. It was not as good as using the Nemesis. Um, two things there. First, it's, um, it's only a rare flagship. Second, um, the Nemesis got all these really nice skills while um, the Peleos doesn't. So um, if I look through my through my remaining um, flagships, I do not have another flagship with a level three first skill. So there's nothing I can test against this. But um, I think 
what we can say as summary. Um, the level is not the most important thing here. Sure, it makes your things easier. You get more HP, more armor and more shield, so you will survive easier, but it does not change the damage. The damage is directly um, affected by the skill level. In special, also you, you can check, you can always check the flagships you have. Um, let's say you want to use, um, where do we have the Hercules? Um, you see the second, the first two skills, you usually already know them because they are the active skills, but you also do have the passive skills that reduce the cost to recruit warships and that increases attack of flagships and of turrets. So um, there are a few things, the Prontus for example, can an active skill does some um, AOE damage and increases the range of flagships and warships. But then the passives come in with increased attack of flagships, that's always good. Increased attack of cruisers, increased HP of cruisers. Um, so the Prontos will stay a cruiser um, focused flagship even in campaign. Um, also something like the Argos is not completely useless. We got AOE skill and um, it teleports, so this allows you to move fast from one point to the other. And then, um, same thing again, increased number of resources earned from killing space pirates. I have to check this if this somehow has an effect on really killing space pirates, but it's only visible in the campaign, so it's a little bit strange. Um, what other warships do we have? One warship, uh, one flagship that you get in the campaign later is uh, Tesoys, and you can also buy it from the flagship uh, from the campaign store. Yeah, some blueprints, flagship blueprints. You got um, as usual your area of effect, and then um, increasing the movement speed of the flagship as passive skills. It's increasing the armor and shield of the flagship and increasing the movement speed of flagship and the HP of flagship. So this one is a little bit more about surviving in campaign, while the nemesis is more about um, doing damage in campaign. If you ask me, probably the nemesis is the best flagship for campaign. Why do I think the nemesis is even better than the Athena? Pretty simple, you need to level up the first skill. As you can see here, the first skill of the Athena is just doing 450 damage at rank 1, while um, I got 3 times that damage at rank 3 of the skill. So it's not like you can say, okay, I use a uh, rank 2, 3 Athena, because then your first skill is still level 1. So you really have to level her up to be used in campaign. And to be honest, I think if you're able to level up a legendary flagship that much, very likely campaign is not a problem for you anymore because um, you already got through this. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope you, uh, I was able to give you an idea. If you are stuck in campaign, look that you level up, that you rank up your flagship to a point where your first skill is getting up to level 3. Level 3 is high enough to go through the whole campaign. Use the highest possible modules, the highest modules you do have available. Um, if you want to push campaign, just remove it from your other flagships. You can use a remove all and um, just equip the highest possible on the flagships that you want to use for campaign and um, then as soon as you got any flagship at a level skill 1 level 3 I think you do have good chances to push through the whole campaign. I do also think even with the Peleos I would have a chance if I would have summoned warships. It's um, probably tricky because it does a little bit, um, it's a little bit more squishy and does not as much damage as a nemesis, but I think it would still have been possible. Please um, 
Let me know what w flagships did you use to get through campaign? What are your experiences at? Let me know in the comments. I'm really looking forward to read some of your experiences there. Um, I got notes that um, only like around 20, less than 20% of the people watching these videos regularly are subscribers. Please do me the favor, subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be really great. And um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I hope to see you on the next video.